outdoors. You got Mike today. And you got my buddy Steve, the line cook over there, and his buddy Nick. And we are clamming, doing some winter clamming. It is uh, it's about 42 degrees. You can see it's really windy. Uh, Kaylee was supposed to come today. Good thing she didn't. Um, it's uh, conditions aren't that great, but we're out here giving it a try. So we're going to go for some clams, stick around, hopefully we get a bunch. After a while here. Oh, yes, nice one, Steve. Nice one. That's what we want, guys, right there. That's a nice one. It's been a struggle. And uh, a side note to that my waders have a hole in them, so I'm a little. Uh, a little wet underneath and it's January so the water's cold so <laughs> but not too bad Let's see if we get some more usually when there's one there's more in the bed but uh it's slow going today I think it is. I think it's uh, yeah, obviously it's January, the water's cold. I think the clams might be a little bit deeper. All right, guys, I think I got one. Let's see what we got here. I got a little one. It might, uh, it might work though. Keeper, first keeper, boys. All right, guys, one on the board. Let's see what, uh, let's keep this rolling. All right, guys, I think I might've got one right here. Let's see. Yes, indeed. This should be a keeper. Gotta be an inch and a half. Another one. Just made it. <laughs> it's definitely slim pickings, man. What's going on, guys? So uh, that's gonna end my trip. I had to cut my trip short. Unfortunately, my waders uh, apparently sprung a leak in my feet and my legs were kind of soaked. So in 42 degree uh, water, that's not fun. So I stayed out there as long as I could. And uh, But I had to get out of there and see it was just too cold. So. Steve and Nick are gonna hang out till the tide goes down. Hopefully they get a little more. It was uh, tough conditions. I got almost a half dozen clams, which I was hoping to get at least two dozen. Uh, I'm still gonna do catch a cook for you guys. I'm gonna take my clams, and I'm also gonna stop at a really good fish market by my house. I wanted to get some fresh fish anyway. So I'm gonna pick up maybe about a, another half dozen or dozen more clams just to uh, add to the New England clam chatter that I wanna make for you guys. So. You know, it was tough conditions, but at least uh, at least we got out there. It was good seeing my buddy Steve. Haven't seen him in a while, so hopefully uh, he can make uh, the best of this day and maybe get a little bit more uh, than what we did this morning. But we'll get back out there. i got to get a new pair of waders. Kaylee's got a pair of waders coming in the mail, so I want to get her out here clamming. So I uh, appreciate you sticking around, and uh, we'll see you in the kitchen for the cook part. Take care, guys. All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen, and we have Miss Kaylee, who's going to be doing the cooking for you guys. So um, we're going to make some New England clam chowder, which is my favorite clam chowder. So I'll just show you what we have. We have some heavy cream. We have uh, some chopped clams and minced clams. So I did bring some clams home from the bay. Uh, only about a half dozen. I did have to leave early because I did have a leak in my waders, and uh, the water just got too cold. So um, I did stop at a, one of our local fish markets to get some more clams, and there's also a couple cans of minced clams in there. We have some clam juice, some red skinned potatoes, onions, celery, and we have some bacon, bacon that's going to go as a topper instead of croutons. So Kaylee's got some butter melting already in the pan. So Kaylee, what you're going to do, you're going to take that plate of celery and onions, and we're going to saute that, but you're going to dump it all in the pan. Just dump it right in there. Stir it around, 
So you want to saute those onions and celery until they get nice and translucent and soft. This will be about four or five minutes. Smells good already. All right guys, so the celery and onions are pretty well softened, so Kaylee's gonna add some flour now to the celery and onion mixture and stir that around, so that, that's gonna help thicken up our, uh, our soup. Go on there. Okay, I'll take that. And now take your, your spatula and stir it all around. Make sure you get it spread evenly. All around here. See, like that. All, all around. Good. Up on your stool if you need to see over the top. There you go. Alright guys, so now we're gonna add our clam juice to that. Stir that good Kayla. There you go. Very good. Alright, so this next part I'm gonna have to do because we're gonna transfer that into that pot. So you're gonna I could do that. You're gonna hold that nope. Hop down. Good. All right. And keep stirring that. So this. Let's put this over here so it's easier to work with. We have right here. I have about eight cups of chicken stock, and we're gonna add this mixture right to the stock. Might be steaming up the camera, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And to that. We're gonna add about a pound of red skin potatoes and a cup of heavy cream. And that's basically your soup right there. So at the end, we're gonna add our fresh clams. We're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes and it's gonna thicken up nice. Once those potatoes start cooking and get tender, they're going to release that starch, and that's going to help thicken up the soup as well. Um, the celery and onions, that was one, um, one whole yellow onion and about three stalks of celery diced up, uh, obviously rinsed and washed, and also the celery leaves because they go good in the soup. So stay tuned. We'll be back as soon as this cooks a little bit and thickens up. All right, guys, we're back. Kaylee's going to uh, show you how nice the soup is thickened up. Give it a nice stir, okay? Very good. You want to get it deep so people can see what we're... Got our nice potatoes in there, our celery, our onions. So, Kaylee, now uh, we've got about two minutes left to cook in, so now we're going to add the fresh clams and all their juice right to the pot. Everything goes in, sweetie. Just dump it right in. Lower, 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 so it doesn't splat you. There you go. Just dump it in. There you go. All in. Get it all in. You can use your hand. No. <laughs> good. All right. Now stir it up good. Take the ladle and stir it up good. I think really. All right, guys. So that's going to cook about another two to three minutes until the clams firm up a little bit. It's going to thicken up a little bit more. And it'll be ready to serve. So when we serve that, um, I know sometimes you know people put crackers on top, croutons. Uh, what I do with our uh, toe tog or blackfish chowder, I like to garnish the top with um, some crispy fresh bacon, and that uh, that's really good. But if you notice, the pile of bacon was a lot higher before Kaylee saw it. So Kaylee's been snacking on it. All right, guys. So we're gonna let this simmer about another two to three minutes, and we'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, so we added the clams. It's been about another two, three minutes, and our soup is ready to serve. Beautiful. New England clam chowder. Very easy to make. Kayla, you want to take over and garnish it with some of the bacon? Right on top. You can put a bunch. 
take a take a nice uh, handful, and you could have the rest. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is homemade. There you go. Perfect. Homemade New England clam chowder. Now, uh, in my clam chowder, I like to just top it off with some fresh ground black pepper, and uh, you're ready to eat. <laughs> As Kaylee's eating all our bacon. So hope hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, like I said, I feel bad. I have to cut it short, but um, unfortunately, I did have a uh, a leak in my waders, and uh, they got pretty. Uh, I got pretty soaked in there and the, the water was 47 degrees and I just, I couldn't take it anymore. But I uh, came home, ordered uh, myself a pair of waiters and Miss Kaylee, her own waiters. So we're going to head out clamming again next week, the two of us. And uh, hopefully we do a lot better. So appreciate you uh, sticking around. Kaylee, take us out as always. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification so you never miss any of Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.